Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of Super Calling Gaming Mario Kart 8 Roulette Challenge where we're trying to three-star every cup with a random kart racer combo. Let's get a dice roll going. 29. 29, all right, so it's gonna be seven. 14, 21, 28, 29, Bowser. Awesome, that is cool. He looks at home on the top of that bike. Maybe that's like why it looks so big. But let's see, what, what's our bike? We got a new uh, leaf tires, fun. 17. 17, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so many, and oh, standard, of course. What do we got for wheels? 10. 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Man, we always get these little red ones. How does that happen every time? Oh well, okay. And for this? 22. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go, the parafoil. Here's the uh, stats if you're interested. This, is, this doesn't look awful, honestly. I would think Bowser wouldn't have much acceleration, but uh, I guess all of our other wheels and cart have assisted us in that regard. Let's see how it goes. Bowser is normally pretty slow. We're doing the crossing cup. Wahoo. Which, oh, it has the baby park. I love the baby park. This is such a fun level. It's just straight chaos, to be sure, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah. This was from a game cart, or GameCube, game cart. <laughs> GameCube, what is Daisy driving? Is that a cat? I wanna unlock that. Man. Um, and so it's weird, because you do like seven laps here, but you're all in the hovers on this one, so it's even more chaos. It's just like, run into everybody! Fun, but uh, I think we are gonna continue answering some questions like we did for the last episode. So, Callie, whenever you are ready. First one's a pretty easy one. Oh, what boy. What was your first video game ever? Oh, man, this is just like the history of Jonathan's gaming life on this channel. Um, let's see, I think my first video game ever would have been Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the Sega Genesis. Die! Oh, oh, I see how you play it. Like, we're like laughing people, this is amazing. Um, yeah, I think it was Sonic the Hedgehog. That was the first game console I ever had, unless it was, um, the Game Boy, which I don't think it was. Uh, in that case, it would have been, I think, uh, Darkwing Duck on the Game Boy, which is a really hard game. That's one of those you can, you grow up and you think, oh yeah, I remember this game, maybe I'll play it and I'll actually be good at it now. I was just sucked when I was a kid. No, no, it's just impossible. So many games were like that. I don't, ugh. It's a hard game. Anyway, but. Yeah, those are those are my first my first couple of games. I remember playing a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I'm not sure I've ever actually just straight up beaten that game either. Like I can get really far, but towards the end it gets it gets pretty hard. Especially if you don't have like the Chaos Emeralds and stuff. It's just uh you can't go supersonic. Mm. Although I remember getting the game genie and just being able to go supersonic with like a single coin on like, you know, the Green Hill Zone. Boy, that's a fun game. Just like whoosh. And there we go. Oh, oh we made it. Yay! Race one down. Mario. Psh, you have no chance. I didn't even see you at all. Cheese land? Okay. You say so. Is the, what is the chain shop? Is he guarding the cheese or? I, I don't, yeah, did they chain him up so he doesn't keep eating it? His toads seem pretty happy. The race has even started. Okay. Is Mario Kart your favorite out of the whole Mario franchise or? What is? Oh boy. Uh, it might be. Uh, otherwise, it's probably just whatever like the most main series games are. Like, um, I really love Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2. Um, I loved Mario 64. Those were great. I didn't play as much because like, we didn't have a Super Nintendo, so I didn't play as much of like the... Uh, oh boy, we are we going to crash now? Okay, we're good. Ah, change up! Oh! Oh! No! Um, I didn't play as much of like regular, just like Super Mario World or those any of the Mario games on the Super Nintendo as much. Um, I would go to like friend's house and I think I would eventually download them on the Wii and stuff. But yeah, uh, as a result, we had the N64, so it's really my Mario experience starts there. I also really like Mario Party. I remember, uh, maybe we can start playing some of that on this channel, whatever, I wanna maybe wait for whatever they're gonna come out with for the Wii, the Nintendo Switch, sorry. And, but I, I remember Mario Party was one of those games where it was like the fight starter game. Like there was so much backstabbing to be done and it could be so frustrating and people could finally seem to be getting a break and then you'd steal a star or you get the chance time thing. Oh my gosh. 
so much fun. So many fights though, even, especially like between like me and Ben and Ty, we'd be playing and you know, Tyler, we would just get caught by him all the time, of course, because he was the youngest brother. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and it just seemed like more often than not, it might end in tears, which is not what you expect from uh, something called party. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I real I do really like Mario Party. Beth, my wife, really likes Mario Party. She always wants to play that. So uh, I haven't gotten to one of the newer games in a while. <clears throat> I remember once upon a time I got uh, for Mario Party One. There was one of the game. A lot of the games involved rotating the joystick on the N64 around really, really fast, and uh, you had. Like, if you played it in like single player mode because you didn't have enough people for a party, uh, then you had to like face the computer like this. And the computer was just clearly way better at this than you. So what people would do to try and win was they'd use their palm on the joystick and rotate it as fast as they could. And the end result was like, a set, me and several of my friends had these giant blisters on the middle of our palm where all the skin had like rubbed off and it's I know that sounds stupid but that is that was the reality of Mario Party 1 and like my mom I think thought this was like they couldn't even believe what like what is wrong with your hand and uh, years later I was at the orthodontist office and I'm gonna talk through the load screen um, there was this old issue of Nintendo Power and in it, there was actually an advertisement for a glove designed to play Mario Party that would protect your palm from the joystick rotation thing. So uh, at least my mom saw that and I think she immediately forgave any uh, misgivings she had toward us because it clearly had happened to kids all over the country. Unbeknownst to us because, you know, no internet back then, but yeah. We didn't get the glove. I think we were going to, but it, it like, you know, it was a really old issue because we were at the dentist office and they don't have current issues of anything there ever. But that's, that's not, I don't really care. Dentist office, blew an awful place anyway. Okay, anyway, <laughs> moving on, moving on. This I've always awful. liked Super Mario Brothers. Oh yeah, But like, it's harder on the Wii for me than it was on DS. Oh, did you play it on the DS? Yes. Oh man, I, I did not play a lot of like Mario games on the DS, I guess. I've done, it's, I feel like I get every game system, or a lot of Nintendo game systems, specifically either for Pokemon or Mario Kart, which is, uh, which is not what I'm playing here. Uh, or just whatever big Mario game they have. But, like the, like, uh, Galaxy. Or Smash Brothers, I love Smash Brothers, that's fun. Have you ever played that? Um, I haven't. Oh my gosh, Cal, got a... Get you in some, some game in here. Ooh, ah. Oh my gosh, you can't see anything. This is, I feel like maybe the bigger your character is, the more effective the ink is, because it's like the more of it it can block, more of you to be blocked. We got one comment that just said, "Talk about your school experiences." Talk about my school. I don't know school. what that means, but mm. that's whatever you want. Well, let me see. I can talk about school experiences. Uh, my school experiences, I think, I, I think of, I define them in like uh, a couple of different sections. There was like, obviously elementary school. Uh, that was, you know, those were easy times because where I lived wasn't like super great schools, but I guess I, I was, I guess I was considered smart for the area. I did like, it, it, I mean, it wasn't hard enough to study or anything. Um, and then I got to middle school though, and I guess maybe I wasn't prepared for the, uh, the change and how everything was. Uh, it took me like a year or so to get accustomed to just like, you know, changing classes and dealing with all the new social uh, order of the terrible land that is middle school. It wasn't, not a great sixth and seventh grade year, but I was excited because I felt like I had like gotten my feet back under me by the time like eighth grade rolled around. And, um, I was ready for that, and then my parents told me we were moving, and oh my gosh, that it was like it was the worst thing I ever could have told me. I don't, I took it really, really badly. Um, it, I mean, I think, oh, this blue shell's going down. Yeah, I suck up. Um, so eighth grade, probably the worst school year for sure. Not even close. Um, I did. I just like we went to a new school. I didn't have like any friends or anything. Uh, I, towards the end of the year, like. I eventually uh, tried out for soccer and I made it, and that was fun. That's when I first, but that was like at the end of the year, so it was, sadly it wasn't near to the beginning. Um, it was also the the thing I seemed to have like uh, I took on during my eighth grade year to like sort of like focus on other things was I would just go outside every day and shoot a lot of like basketball, 
but uh, and with the intent of trying out for basketball too, which I did. And to this day, I have no idea why I did not make the team because the tryouts went like enormously well. Um, and even the next day in like the hallway, people who made the team were like, what do you mean you didn't make it? I don't know what, are you, huh? It was, it was weird. I don't know what happened, Dad, but whatever. I'm not bitter. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I feel like uh, had I made that team, I'm sure I would have had a different group of friends and whatnot. Um, high school though, a little bit better. Uh, that's when I started doing cross country, which I really, really loved. That ended up being like the best thing ever. Um, I know some people think, oh my God, running worst. Ah. And it is, it is hard, but let me tell you something. The people you suffer through cross country with are like friends for life. That it's just so much, oh boy, yikes. Uh, like that's when me and Ben actually started becoming a lot better friends. Uh, you know, I mean, we were always got along pretty well just being brothers, but we started like really like hanging out more as friends rather than just people who saw each other at the house in between uh, other things. Oh God, that was the wrong way to drift. Now we're, okay, this is not mm -hmm. Having some issues on the course. And we're gonna get just smashed again, gosh. Okay, and yet the computer still can't keep up because they suck, but. Yeah, so that's when we started doing that. Um, continued to play a lot of sports through like ninth grade and stuff. Or through pretty much all of high school. I don't think there was a single season where I wasn't doing some sort of sport. It was mostly cross country or indoor track or soccer. Although I did do a season of swimming um, in my 10th grade year. Uh, and then let's see. I would say by the end, by like senior year, everything was pretty good. I, I that is when I met Beth, who I would eventually marry. So that was a good thing. Uh, oh, oh, the fruit gives you boosts. Yeah, uh, although it's such a, I, I feel like it's such a sort of silly story because like I just needed a prom date basically, or like I, I you know, I wanted to go to prom, and uh, like. I think for, almost like, I think every year is almost like defined by like, a, I would almost like date like a girl a year. And this was sort of like the end of my senior year. I was like, oh, I'm not really dating anyone. And it's about to be, you know, about to go to college. So it's not really a great time to start or anything. And, but I still wanted to go to prom. And uh, that's when Beth and I started talking. And uh, yeah, it was a long road from there. It was like eight years later when we got married, but. <laughs> um, prom was really great. Uh, Beth was the prom princess, that was fun. And yeah, maybe I'll tell you the full story on another episode. But yeah, if you have more specific questions about school life, I can uh, get more into some of that stuff in later episodes. But otherwise, we have made it to the end of the Crossing Cup, no problem. Bowser was actually not, not bad, even in the Standard Cup. I didn't, he was pretty easy to control. Um, had a few troubles there in that last course. I would give that better than Link, better than Link was in the last episode. We'll give the, I'll give that a solid B, no doubt. Not, not an A plus by any means. Bowser's always a little sluggish, but not even as bad as that Wario combination was. So pretty good, pretty good. I'm sure we'll get a good, awful combination at some point too, and hopefully really, really good ones. But otherwise, thank you for watching the video. Like it if you haven't already, and subscribe so you don't miss any future Mario Kart action. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions you want answered in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Let's go.